In this overview, we'll show you the highlights of getting started with account reconciliations. In the Welcome panel, you will see any announcements that the service administrator has posted. Your reconciliations for a particular period are scheduled by the service administrator. The status of the reconciliations that you are assigned are open, late, due today, and due in seven days, and will show in the Welcome panel. Click a reconciliation to start working on it, or you can get to all of your work from the work list icon. The work list is a quick way to see the reconciliations that are assigned to you. There are filters that you can set, and if it's your first time in the application, you will need to select the period to display your reconciliations. You can set more than one period. The work list will default to My Reconciliations, where the icon is blue, that will show all of your currently open reconciliations. If you click on the icon, it changes to gray, which opens all reconciliations, where you can see all reconciliations that are assigned to you. However, by default, closed reconciliations won't show. This shows the reconciliations that are pending, open with you, those that are with other reviewers, and those that are closed. If you are missing a reconciliation, it may have been assigned to someone else by the administrator, or it hasn't been created by the administrator for that period. If you change the filter, the filter criteria is used the next time you open the application. The point of view bar across the top works with the summary filters. The point of view bar is preset and can't be changed by a user on work lists. Go to Reconciliations if you want to add more filters, choose different columns, and save your customized view. For example, if you want to see a reconciliation, you can open it from the work list. When you open a reconciliation, you will see the Summary tab of the reconciliation. On the left, you can see the Balancing section, which shows you the reconciliation calculation for the current unexplained difference for each currency code and currency bucket that is applicable to this reconciliation. In the Balance Summary drop-down selection, you can choose to see the single currency you are working on or choose all to view all applicable currencies for this reconciliation. You can also see the trend of prior period and balances for this reconciliation and directly from the chart, you can click to view prior reconciliations. You can see important information about the reconciliation, including attachments, comments, and additional supplemental information through the tabs on the right. Up to two attachments and comments can be shown on the screen, but all additional attachments and comments can be shown by opening up the tab. On the top of the reconciliation, the second and third tab will always be related to transactions and will vary based on the reconciliation format that has been assigned to the reconciliation. The service administrator creates the reconciliations and assigns it to you. They also decide the layout of the reconciliation, it can be changed, but the only person who can make a change to the layout is the service administrator. In this overview, we saw the highlights of getting started with account reconciliations. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.